Hi everyone. Um, this is an addendum video to my 3DS Max tutorial on how to model this uh, ported cube. Um, I had done a video previously in 3DS Max showing some techniques into achieving this uh, particular object and um, I just wanted to do one uh, for Blender. Um, the procedures are basically the same as in 3ds max with the exception of some differences in the selection techniques and um, the way the vertices are welded um, otherwise everything is virtually the same okay but uh, i could see how it could be confusing to some um, users uh, following the 3ds max video um, as to how to get the same shape in blender all right so We'll get right to it. Um, let me just remove this uh, object from the scene. We'll start fresh here. All right, the uh, first step, obviously, is going to uh, be adding a new object. Um, we'll just add a plain cube to the scene. All right, and uh, once you have the cube, we'll go down into edit mode. And from there, we'll subdivide. And we'll choose the number of cuts uh, we'll switch them to two. All right, so then you have a topology that looks like this. All right, and from here we'll be uh, switch over into face mode if you're not already in it, and um, go ahead and select the three corner faces on the cube. Then sh hold down Shift and tap the G key to bring up your select similar, and choose face regions. All right, tap. Uh, X to delete faces. All right, now here's where it's a little bit different than the 3ds Max. We can't use select similar to select these uh, center squares on the object. Nothing, uh, nothing seems to work there. At least not in face mode. Okay, so it's nothing to just manually select each one, just like this. All right, and then make sure your uh, your pivot point is set to individual origins all right and then we'll extrude inwards until the faces are just about touching just like that and then uh, tap the X key to delete those faces all right now select everything tap your W key to bring up the specials all right from there we're going to choose um, remove doubles and we'll just adjust the merge distance enough to have removed 16 vertices you'll see up here at the top 16 vertices are removed all right and that should be all the central verts all right so from here we could uh, just jump out to object mode again and go ahead to your modifiers and uh, add a solidify change the offset to 0, 0. 0.0 and then just begin to thicken until you're happy with the thickness all right, and then uh, go ahead and apply a subdivision surfaces modifier. Um, in this case, I would give it at least a uh, subdivision iteration of three, and that's only if you're going to use it as a digital asset. Um, then you could put smooth shading on, and uh, you would have this object. Okay. Now, if you wanted to 3D print this particular object, which is, uh, it, it would be perfectly suitable for a 3D print, um, I would suggest increasing the iterations to four, perhaps even five, and checking it with the flat shading to uh, make sure it's nice and smooth, okay, because the, uh, your shading uh, uh, effects will not translate to a 3D print as far as I'm aware, so you'll need a higher uh, subdivision level. And just check your uh, check your uh, solidify thickness. Make sure it's a, a thickness that's suitable for printing. And uh, you can even adjust the uh, creasing on the inner and outer uh, levels just to get a uh, sharper uh, thickness here. Okay. And uh, so that's how to achieve the object fairly quickly in Blender. There's just um, some subtle differences in workflow uh, versus the 3ds max uh, tutorial and I'll just show you real quickly um, this is a, a render I did of the object um, 
you know, showing a possible use of what this could be uh, in the real world, 3D printed, uh, perhaps as a pencil pencil holder or you know some kind of cool uh, object uh, if you wanted to get this printed. Um, it would probably be an expensive print, but um, a fun one and, and useful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be coming out with several more videos this weekend uh, for both 3ds Max as well as Blender. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.